Hello everyone, welcome to another Table Talk How to Play. Today I'll be teaching how to play Just One, a cooperative party game that's roughly three to seven players, ages eight and up, and 20 to 30 minutes. So basically, to set up the game, what's gonna happen is you're going to shuffle up and deal 13 of these cards to the table. You're going to give each player an easel, and a marker to write on the easel. Dry erase, so pretty good. And then we will randomly choose an active starting player. Let's say red will be this active starting player for the first round. They will draw the card without looking at it and put it on their easel like so. And then pick one of the five things on it without looking. So they'll just basically pick a number one to five. Let's say they pick two. In this case, it's Batman. And then the rest of the players will then draw or write on their easel a one word clue to help them try to guess that word. And let's say I'm gonna go with Robin. His psychic. And then Basically, with the red player looking away, or they'll close their eyes, or shield their eyes, whatever they feel comfortable with, without looking, we'll all then compare our answers to see if anyone has written the same thing. In this case, orange wrote comic, blue wrote Robin, and green put Wayne. I also put Robin, so since me and blue matched our clues we will then erase ours and be removed from the pool of clues the remaining players will then put their easels facing towards the guesser and we'll let them know hey you can open your eyes now and look at the clues and while they look at the clues in this case comic and wayne uh, they have to figure out what their clue is they ha have a couple choices. They can attempt to guess or they can pass. Because this is cooperative, there is some kind of scoring chart on the back of the rules for how many points you get correct. Points being correct guesses. In this case, the red player will correctly guess Batman based on comic and wing thinking Bruce Wayne, Batman, and that would be a point for the team or the game, the table. Now let's say he was thinking another, maybe uh, Wayne Brady, he's a comic, um, but I don't know what he would have get as clue, but let's say he got it wrong, he would lose this point as well as one off the top of the deck. Now. If he chose to pass, he would only lose the card that is in his easel, allowing the next player to then take their turn. In all these scenarios, after he passed or guessed correctly, incorrectly, the next guess would be the player to their left. And they would take a card, say a number, and then the rest of us will then write a clue to try to help this player guess which of their uh, mystery words they've chosen. Uh, and this game will go going until basically this deck of 13 goes runs out, uh, in which case you will then see how many correct guesses you have versus discarded cards and try to see where you lie on this scoring chart on the back of the rule book. Um, that's basically how it goes. There are a couple of other little rules which are correct and incorrect guesses uh, that they have a couple of examples in here uh, as well as what those incorrect clues can be. So you cannot use say a different language. So if the word was car you can't use car in a different language. You can't use words in the same family. So, for example, you cannot say princess if the clue is prince. 
Uh, you also can't use made up invented words or you cannot use phonetically identical words uh, such as using weather as in the sunny outside weather to describe whether as in whether or not I make should make a correct guess or not. Um, so that's basically how to play just one. Uh, the cooperative party game. Uh, I will say that you can have a good time as a little like house rule or something I've done is if you have multiple copies uh, combine them to make a much larger group uh, and you could just kind of keep going through the deck until everyone's kind of tired of playing. Uh, don't worry about the points if you don't want to. Um, but you know, some alternate ways to play, I guess, uh, that I've uh, participated in. Uh, anyway, that's been my teach of just one. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.